everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video body scrub I tend to do those at least once per week a full complete body scrub now in this video I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite body scrub it's pretty easy to make and I'm using ingredient that you probably already have in your kitchen now a wonderful thing about this particular body scrub is that it's not only gonna get rid of your dead skin cells on the surface of your skin but it's gonna unclog the pores yes pores are not only on your face but pores are also on your body Body. and it is also gonna get rid of the dark spots and blemishes on your body so if you're interested in this awesome body scrub come with me and I'll show you how to make it in no time our first ingredient is brown sugar and let's take a look at the brown sugar closely this is it notice the granules are a bit large which is perfect for a body scrub our second ingredient is rice and this is white rice and rice is known to exfoliate the skin cleaning out the pores and rice is also good for lightening and brightening the skin rice is a perfect exfoliator for the body our next ingredient is green tea you can also use chamomile tea now I'm using tea bags if you have loose leaf green tea that's perfect also I'm also gonna be using some coconut oil and coconut oil is known to moisturize the skin it is also great for getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines it's the perfect combination to combine with the rice and the brown sugar to exfoliate your entire body I'm gonna be using some honey and honey is another great ingredients for brightening the skin is also going to get rid of all the impurities and it is a great moisturizer our next ingredient is tomato and lemon you can choose to use the tomato by itself or you can choose to use the lemon or you can choose to use both in this recipe and tomato is going to act in this recipe as a brightening agent it is known to brighten the skin and also to lighten the skin and with the other ingredients it's going to help to get rid of dark spots and blemishes okay you also going to need a blender to blend and you're also going to need a jar for storing so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna prepare the rice and we're gonna blend the rice so I'm gonna blend about a quarter cup of rice now here is our blended rice now you don't want to make this too powdery you just want to make it enough so that it have enough fine granules to help to exfoliate the skin so next I'm going to prepare the tomato and I'm going to be blending the tomato now I'm going to use just half of this medium tomato I'm just going to cut the tomato in small pieces for easier blending now that's ready we're going to add this to our blender do not add any water to this the tomato is going to make its own water And here we have our blended tomato. So here we have all the ingredient. We have our blended tomato. We also have our green tea. We have our rice blend. We also have our brown sugar. We have our honey and we also have our coconut oil so now I'm gonna put all these ingredients together and the optional ingredient which is lemon so I'm gonna use a quarter cup of blended rice a quarter cup of brown sugar I'm gonna use one tea bag which is about a teaspoon of green tea if you have loose leaf go ahead and use a tablespoon of green tea for our tomato I'm gonna add a quarter cup of 
tomato puree. I have a little leftover, so I'm just gonna use it. Around about a quarter cup of tomato puree. For our coconut oil, I'm gonna use a quarter cup of coconut oil. And for our honey, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of honey. Now, as far as the tomato puree is concerned, you could leave this out. If you're gonna store this for uh, seven days or more, leave the tomato puree out, and when you're gonna use, you just take a little from this and you add the tomato puree to it. In that way, you could keep the base for much longer, 10 to 12 days without the tomato puree. If you had the tomato puree, you gotta use it up in seven days. So make the base without the tomato puree. When you're ready to use, you add it to it, okay? If not, you mix everything like I'm doing here and you keep it for about seven days. And now we're gonna mix this together. Just fold everything in. You can also choose to squeeze a little lemon in it, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. You could also leave it out. I like to put lemon juice in mine and just mix everything together. And now our body scrub is ready. Also, you can choose to use more brown sugar if you want it to be a little more coarser. I like to use it as liquefy as this is. Now, once this is ready, here is our jar, and we're going to pour this in. Ooh, this is nice. Now here we have our scrub, and guess what guys? If you have essential oil, this is lavender oil. If you have lavender, eucalyptus, orange oil, your favorite essential oil. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take it and you're gonna add a few drops to this. But this is optional. You really do not need to use it. But for me, I like to use either the lavender or the eucalyptus essential oil in this. Whatever essential oil that you like, you could also add some peppermint oil to this. Because when you get in the shower, that burst, that fragrance that's gonna be released, it's gonna be wonderful. So add some essential oil if you have. If you don't have, that's all right. The scrub is just as good by itself, all right? Give it a little stir. And here you have your full body scrub. Mm, can't wait to use this. Now I'm just gonna show you how to use it on my hands since we aren't gonna get in the shower today. So when you get in the shower, you're gonna take a little you're going to put it on your body, all over your body now. And you're going to, oh my goodness, this is nice, guys. Whoa. And you're going to exfoliate your skin. You're, I wish I could show you in the shower, but you know I can't do that anymore. So we're going to exfoliate the skin. Your entire, oh, the smell is really awesome. Whoa. Oh my goodness, this is nice, guys. So you're going to exfoliate the skin, your entire body, all over in the shower. Just dip in, I don't want to waste mine, I'm just demonstrating this for you guys. So let me just do the other hand, let's balance this out. So just exfoliate your skin with it, and as I said, you can choose to do this at least once or twice per week. If you had a tomato to this, you want to use it up within seven days. If not, then you leave the tomato out, then the base could be kept in the refrigerator for about 12 days. So within the seven to 12 days, you use it at least twice, all right? Just enjoy yourself with this. Just exfoliate, just exfoliate, all right? And this is nice. Sorry guys, I am uh, getting a little carried away here because this is so nice. And once you exfoliate, because you have the oil in it, you're gonna rinse with some warm water. If you live in a country where you don't have warm water, the room temperature water is just as good for rinsing your skin. So you're gonna rinse, and then you're gonna reveal nice, beautiful skin, all right? Let me rinse mine off. Wow, this is so nice, guys, so. Oh wow, so refreshing, so nice. And 
there you have it so there you have it go try this body scrub and come back and comment now use it once per week but you're gonna like it so much that you probably will want to use it twice per week all right don't forget to leave your comments and give the video a thumbs up if you like it and if this was the first time watching look below you're gonna see the word subscribe click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye